Hello, everybody. This one I found, and I've been hearing a little bit more, a little bit more about what's going on with uh, Texas and everything. And I got to tell you, folks, as crazy as this is going to sound, we all know he would probably do it if he could. Obama to sign executive order stripping Texas of statehood prior to sending in FEMA. Now, before you guys do anything or say anything about this little page here, and that's something else, I went ahead and I did a quick search. Let's see if you can see that. Yep, okay, that's Bing. You see what I typed. And there are 884,000 results. Basically the same thing. And I'm going up. Give me a second. I'm looking to see if there's anything major here. Uh, here's here's um, from Yahoo. Uh, this is this is different now. So this seems like it's something a little bit more than just uh, something going on around us, folks. So I'm going to actually show this. Obama to sign executive order stripping Texas of statehood prior to sending in FEMA, question mark. Texas has been a center of attention lately due to the reasons of historic rains and flooding, ISIS attacks, joining military, or joint military training exercises of Jade Helm, you name it. It's this third portion of the puzzle that it's many Texans especially on edge. We know about Jade Helm, we know about all of this, and what happens, and everything. So, what exactly do we know about this? Well, I'm going to read this pretty much word for word, and then I'm going to go back and see if it fits what we already know. It appears that FEMA is about to step in and do just that. Due to the floods, however, many feel that Obama administration is merely using the floods as a perfect timing to step in and take federal control over a great sovereign state. But you write everyone off who believes that it's a conspiracy theory. It's important to take note Texas Governor Abbott sending in the troops to do everything. Uh, and basically, you know, even special operations forces are breaking into people's cars, homes, supposedly out bindings in order to borrow what is needed for survival purposes during uh, administrative or executive action. Uh, we've all seen this, folks. We, we've all heard about the power grab that's going to be taking place. Um, one of the things that I'm going to state complacently and completely is that this is what I know okay the economy in the United States is shit we know this the dollar has been stretched to its limit and doesn't matter who you listen to the the major states have billions if not trillions of untapped oil, gas, and other surface rights that could free our economy supposedly in a blink of an eye. Can't get to this because it's not under federal authority. This is the supposed quote. Now, if FEMA goes in there under executive action, it's all federally accessible. Only thing that's stopping them is the gun owners. So, what are they going to do? They're going to probably try to sell it off to the damn Chinese or whoever we owe the, all the damn money to. We've seen the UN vehicles. We've seen one story I put up was about uh, them having mortar and artillery uh, batteries out there. You've seen the trucks and the endless convoys in the southeast. Hell, I've seen it all the way up to Ohio. Nobody in my state has seen it. That doesn't mean it's not here. 
I've heard about the guillotine, so I haven't done a video on that yet because I just don't want to. I haven't found a good enough source, and frankly, at this point, that's, that's kind of old news. We know they have guillotines. We know they're going to do this and they're going to do that. We know. We know that it's a culling of the herd. We know all the dissidents are going to be round up. We know that pretty much every gun owner in America right now is probably listed, or blacklisted for that matter, as a member of a militia. Probably. I wouldn't fucking doubt it. I would not doubt this power-hungry government. I would not doubt it one bit. But, this right here says that Obama's going to end up doing an executive order stripping Texas of his statehood. Now, before you say that that's widely insane, why the hell is Jade Helm labeling Texas and, uh, I forget the other state, as hostile territory and... Everybody from Alex Jones to everybody else, hell, even 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 Fox Two did a um, a news story about the possible Texas takeover this summer. Fox Two in Detroit, for crying out loud, did one just like a week ago. I saw that. I'm like, holy shit! Those kids are gonna get in trouble for running that story. And they were doing it from the uh, yeah, I think it was from the economy part, saying that there's like like $72 trillion in the Southeast in surface rights that we can basically pawn off as extra income to inflate our dollar. But, you know, everything that's stopping the federal government, or the only thing stopped from the federal government is the, you know, constitutionalists, the gun owners. Ah. You know, it's kind of, this is what they said. It was coincidental that all these flooding and all these things are going on. Well, it is what it is. It's their country. They got all the super tech. We don't. You think your AR is going to do much when you see Humvees pull it up with 60 guys each getting out? Good luck with that. Because the rest of us, and probably anyone else that has smarts, will definitely be getting out of the area. But it is what it is, folks. Uh, if this executive action does go through, though, which I have no doubt in my mind that Obama would do it in a heartbeat, uh, shit would hit the fan within hours. Shit would hit the fan within hours. You would probably not know about anything major for 24 to 48 hours, but then it would go like a plague. And it would come to where you were in hours and days. It wouldn't even be a week before the troops were on the ground and your SWAT teams were walking up and down with national authority and uh, pulling people from their homes going, you are a dissident. You are a resistance person. Damn you, shaw bitch. And then you're going, well, you guys didn't exactly stop this shit like you're supposed to. You're the law enforcement and yet you're not enforcing those assholes to obey the law. Not exactly smooth move on your part. Eh, there's no point in going to a FEMA camp. Just let them drag you out and shoot you if it gets that bad. Get yourself thrown in jail. Uh, they'd probably drag you from the jail and then still put your ass in a FEMA camp. I don't know what the rules are at that point. I'm just guessing. You got that listing on you that says FEMA camp. You're probably going to go to a FEMA camp. My ass is probably going to go to a prison. And, well, this thing actually happens. You know, have a big barbecue. Get all the family together. Go to your place up north. Do whatever you need to do, folks. Because this sounds like it's going to happen. I mean, they don't have nearly... 4,400 troops plus on the ground with international guys <laughs> sitting around for nothing. Okay? So you might want to start sharing this and everything. Because it's hitting, it's going to get close to hitting the fan soon. And when it does, you bet your sweet ass they're taking this country for broke.
That means every piece of land that isn't bought up. That means every surface right they can grasp. Oh, that's true. It's true. Patriots will rise and they will assemble. You will have companies of heroes within hours. But, you know, it's all in the cards. I mean, either way, you figure 20% or 25% of any major population will be dead within the first week or two weeks of any grand scale massacre. So that's a quarter of the people you know. Boom, gone, three days. First three days. How would they do that? have to be a nuke or EMP or something. They'd have to cut off the electricity and let everybody starve to death and say, we're doing the best we can, honestly. Oh, well. You know, I was asked by someone the other day, uh, what was it like in the 90s growing up with freedom? <laughs> oh, I couldn't answer that question. <laughs> oh... I had no answer for that person. <laughs> None.